Hello learners, welcome to Professional Training Academy. In today's meeting, uh, in this session, this quick video, we are going to see the sprint calendar. Right? In, in the last video, we have seen the different events that happens on a sprint within a scrum framework when we are following the Agile methodology. In this video, we will quickly see how a typical two weeks sprint cycle looks like. Two weeks sprint cycle means 10 working days. What are the different events that we do within this 10 working days, right? And the same thing can be repeated when the sprint cycle is more. If the sprint is of three weeks, the same thing will be repeated for another week. Right. If the sprint is of one week or if the sprint is of four week, the events are adjusted accordingly. But for a typical two weeks sprint cycle, which is a standard uh, sprint cycle for most of the projects, right? most of the project that is running on Agile following Scrum framework, a sprint calendar would look like this, starting from day one to day 10. right? On the day one, uh, we do the sprint planning where team makes a commitment based on what they can deliver. Right? So the product backlog item or the list of stories team will choose and agree to complete this by end of this sprint. Standard guidelines per scrum is that we should not take more than four hours for a two week sprint to complete our sprint planning activity. That is the activity that starts your sprint, right? From day two to day nine, next day onwards, every day we will have a daily stand up, which is also called scrum meeting or a simply a stand up meeting where team quickly assembles to see how they are making progress right and we know that what do we talk about in a stand-up meeting each member of the team would talk about three things what did i do yesterday what i am planning to do today and if there is any block so these are the three points that each member of the team would update ideally the sprint stand-up meeting, the daily stand-up meeting should not take more than 15 minutes each day at the beginning of the day, right? The another event that we have learned is product backlog refinement, where team gathers to make sure that they are ready with the list of user stories to be taken for the next sprint. So here in product backlog refinement meeting, we are preparing ourselves for the next sprint, right? It is scheduled by the product owner. It is the responsibility of the product owner to conduct this meeting, make sure that the meeting is happening, right? It can be planned one day within a sprint or can be spread across two days based on what we have agreed, right? The product backlog refinement meeting should not take more than 7.5 hours in two weeks, right? So if you're following a two week sprint cycle, your product backlog refinement meeting, whether you do ideally should not be done at a stretch in that case, otherwise it's in, it is going to take entire day. You can accordingly break that product backlog refinement meeting into two different sessions and it should not take more than eight hours in total within a sprint. Right, so that at the end of this meeting, you are ready for the list of priority PPIs or the user stories for next sprint. Right. Moving towards the last day of the sprint. So other than this, the two other event that happened that happens at the last day of the sprint, which is sprint retrospective and sprint review. We start with sprint review where team will demo to the product owner and if there are clients or customers right, of what the work that has been done to get the feedback, right? In this meeting, the team will demo to the, to the feature that has been developed to the product owner. Product owner will accept or reject it, 
right? Based on the guidelines, this meeting should not take two hours for a two week sprint, right? Once sprint review meeting is done, we can continue the same meeting with a retrospective. We can take a break also and then continue on the retrospective. Retrospective is nothing. This is a meeting to gather information on further improvement, right? Team will figure out that how they can improve further. If there are certain improvement points that they can implement in the sprint going forward, right? Here also in the retrospective, each member of the team would participate and talk about three points. Point number one, what went well, what we did not do well, and areas of improvement. Based on that, we create the retrospective item, which are the further improvement item that team agrees that if we implement it, it is going to help, right? So in this, typically, this, these are the different event that has happened, that happens in a sprint, right? This is a standard sprint calendar. And based on the guidelines, how much time ideally you should take to complete these events, right? Ultimately, the objective of the sprint is the planning that we have done at the day one of the sprint. We should be able to complete these items toward the end of the sprint and then keep on repeating the cycle. Right. So thank you very much for listening. Feel free to reach out to us uh, for more 